Hey guys, um, okay, so it's Monday, and I'm Molly, believe it or not, um, so I think this is the earliest I've ever done a video, but I'm only doing half of it right now, because I'm actually gonna, like, go somewhere for the challenge part, um, so that should be pretty cool, I don't think I've ever, like, taken you guys anywhere, um, alright, so this week, we were supposed to talk about um, how we deal with, like, bullying and discrimination and, like, you know, what happens if you're, well, for those of us who are more androgynous and appear to be more masculine, I suppose, um, what happens if we're like in the bathroom and someone mistakes us for a man and like how they react and what you do in response to their reaction. Anyway, um, so I guess what I do is, oddly enough, I was just having this conversation with my mom like two days ago. She was like, do you ever get bullied or do, do people like ever make comments about you? Like, cause you're gay and like, I think I'm clearly gay, like, you know, um, I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's rather obvious that I'm gay, um, and I mean, not too many people openly comment, and if they do, they don't say things like, you know, fag or dyke or lesbian, like, in a bad way, like, to me, they may say it to the, their friends or whatever, like, as I'm passing, but I, I don't audibly hear it. Um, like, the worst thing I think I heard recently, I was walking downtown, like, I was passing a bar. It was, like, broad daylight. People were outside having lunch and stuff. Um, not that the broad daylight matters. They didn't, like, actively do anything. Anyway, um, so I, I was just, like, walking around in, like, a bow tie and a button-up or something. Like, I just certainly was not feminine. I wasn't dressed in a feminine way. Um... And everyone just, like, turned and looked at me and was, like, you know, like, you could tell that they were, like, trying to figure out, oh, is that a boy or a girl? Like, male or female. And then this dude, like, super loud, he was, like, yup, that's a chick. Like, total frat dude, like, douchey. I'm just, like, alright, like, whatever, yeah, you're right, I am a chick. Like, good for you for, like, figuring that out. So... Generally, my reaction is just to, like, brush it off and whatever, you know, not let it get to me. Because what they're going for is a negative response for me, you know, something to fuel the fire. Um, so I just, my best advice and the way I handle things is to not let it bother you. As hard as that may seem sometimes, just because people actively try and bring you down, like, seriously. Um... So, just, I don't let it get to me. I do what I want. I dress how I feel comfortable. Um, and that's me. If you have a problem with it, you have a problem with it. You're probably not my friend then. Because um, most of my friends don't have a problem with the way I dress or the way I act or the people that I find attractive. Um, so, I like to... Um, surround myself with people who are open and accepting, um, and that's just my experience. Now, the things like going in the bathroom, um, I don't think I've ever had anyone tell me I was in the wrong bathroom. I've had, like, little kids look at me weird, like, obviously adults look at me weird when I'm in the bathroom, like, you know, they do, like, a double take, um, and, you know, like, they don't ever say anything, but, like, little kids will be, like, if they're there with their mom or whatever, they'll be, like, mommy, is that a boy or a girl, or they'll, like, stare at you, but, shit, they don't know, like, they don't know any better, they're just trying to figure it out, like, just trying to know, um, See, so yeah, I've never had, like, a negative experience like that. Um, 
I don't know. I guess maybe I have it easy, or maybe I just don't care. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just naive and I don't know. Who knows? Um, but yeah, anyway, for the challenge, I think I'm done with the topic. I think I covered it all. Um, yeah, I wasn't bullied as a kid. I mean, not for being gay, anyway. I was bullied for being short, because I'm, like, tiny. Um, but I can also hold my own, so people don't tend to bully me too much. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Um, on a side note, I got new glasses today. Um, I got sunglasses too, but obviously I'm inside and I don't need to wear those right now. But I like them. I think they look nice. Um, and I got my nose pierced. Boom. Nose piercing. What's up? Um, I got that done Saturday afternoon, so it's still pretty fresh, um, considering it's Monday. Um, yeah, it's still a little bloody and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I like it, and it's fucking cool. I'm stoked about it. And I got my hair cut. I don't know if I had it cut last time I saw you guys. Or had, I don't, I don't know when I got it cut. Um, but I got it cut. Um... Yeah, just feeling good. Rocking it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys outside sometime later today. And then mash it all up. Okay, hey guys. Um, I'm recording. Yeah, I am. Um, let's see. This is me doing the challenge of like places that mean a lot to me or that are special or whatever it is. Clearly, I'm driving, so I'm not exactly going to look it up right now. Um, but and I thought I could listen to like my music um, from my iPhone and record video at the same time for some reason, but apparently not. Um, which is really unfortunate because now I'm listening to the radio. And it sucks because I only have like radio and cassette in my car. Um, so yeah, it's really bright. It's a damn good thing I've got sunglasses today because it's hella bright. Um, yeah, this is my car. It's a piece of shit and it's uh, dirty and has a lot of uh, Starbucks cups in it, but it's my fave, like, I love my fucking car, just cause, when you're in your car, you're, you're, you know, you're like, well, okay, when I'm in my car, and, like, listening to music, um, I'm just kinda, like, jamming out, and, like, in my own space, um, and I don't, like, give a fuck, like, no one ever, I don't, I don't like to drive people around, so it's, like, totally my space, you know, like, I kind of keep my car dirty so that I don't have to drive people around. I'll just, you know, I just use that as, as an excuse. Um, but if I do have to drive people, I'll just like clean it up. Um, yeah, I thought you guys should uh, experience this. Although right now I'm at a stoplight, so that's not exactly fun. And my mouth is so bright. Hey, look, regular mouth. Bright, bright. Um, yeah. And it would be so much cooler if I were rocking out to my own music and not this bullshit. You do what you can, right? You do what you can. Um, so yeah. Oh, hey, no sun! Hey, better video! Um, yeah. I'll probably go to another park now. I'm gonna give you a little bit of Bloomington. Yeah, you're right. Um, yes, okay, so I was going to go to this nature park um, and show you guys that, but there were so many fucking people there. Like, it's a small park. Um, there were so many people there, I couldn't even pull in. Like, that shit was not gonna happen. So, now I'm potentially lost, and I don't know where I'm gonna go. I guess I could turn around, but this is the first car I've seen in like two miles. Um, yeah, 
I'm upset. I don't know where else to go. Um, I can tell you about the park, though. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got, like, a creek and, like, a little waterfall thing to it. Um, this one time. It's pretty, I mean, it's special to me just because, like, I've had a lot of cool stuff happen there. Like, I had my first picnic there, like, with a girlfriend. It was cute. And totally her idea. Um, and, like, um, um, oh well, come to a crossroad, dead in that way, okay, um, anyway, uh, and this one time when I was dating this other girl, um, we went geocaching out there with a bunch of friends and got lost and shit, and it's just like a really fucking cool place to go, like, cause there's just different nature trails and all kinds of shit, then like a cave, and it's just like, cool, you know, um, so that's where I was, oh shit, truck, ah. um, that's where I was gonna go, but that ain't happening, cause there were like 15 cars in like this little 10, maybe 10 car parking lot, like, I don't want to be around all those people, um, yeah, and I've taken Max out there before, like, he loves it, loves the water and shit, um, so yeah, that's what I was gonna do, but now you get more car time. Um, I guess I could go to a different park, or maybe I just need to not be lost. I guess I could use GPS, but being lost is just a whole lot more interesting. Like, a whole lot more. Um, uh, big turn. Scary turn. Um... Okay, another place I was potentially going to go. Oh, that's a cute little creek thing in their front yard. Oh, adorable. Um, another place I was potentially going to go um, is this other park. I like parks. They're special to me. I like being outside and taking friends to places and just shooting the shit. And also, I like to go to parks alone. Like, I have no problem doing that. Um, and just sitting down with a book and reading. Um, Anyway, I was going to take you to another park, or go to another park, because I wasn't taking anyone. Um, and it's called Cascades, and they have, um, they have a waterfall and, like, a little trail thing, and it's cool. And they have, like, a bunch of shelters. Uh, but it's also right by this, like, Buddhist, um, like, sanctuary thing. Um. Um, and I, there's also a road by my, or not a road, but a park by my house called Cars Farm Park, which has a lot of meaning to me because I, I, I live right there, like, I take Max there all the time, and I used to play soccer there, I, every day. Like, I just have a lot of good memories there. And it'll be awesome. And, yeah. Cool. Alright, so that was my video. Um, hope you guys didn't mind it jumping around so much. Um, and, yeah. I hope you guys have a great week. And that's awesome. And I'll see you here um, next Monday. With an awesome theme, I'm sure. Um, you guys have a good one. See you later.